Hey everyone, Summer here with Astaria Sen and I am going to do something interesting. So in 2019, at the end, in December, uh, the Hermit's Cave Simon had posted at the doing the 2020 vision spread. And I thought it would be cool to go back and look at my 2020 vision spread and talk to you now that 2020 is over on if it actually came true. Like how close was I to my 2020 vision? Um, I was going to do like a video in a video um, to show you guys the video while I was talking, but I that is a lot of work I just don't have time for at the moment. So instead, I'm just going to talk to you about the cards and um, go from there. So my first card was the Queen of Swords. And um, it was talking about what to br what, you know, that what's going to be brought into 2020 from 2019. And the Queen of Swords was for sure what was brought in to 2020. <laughs> It was a complete and utter, like, great foundation for 2020 because the Queen of Swords been, you know, is, like, seasoned, has been through some stuff, but can go ahead and get through the rest of it, right? So in 2019, I went through a lot of spiritual stuff and some heartache, and then um, into 2020, I had already had the foundation of being home, of doing my home business and stuff like that, so it really followed through really well, and Queens are, of course, creation, right? Creative. Um... The second one is like the obstacle. So the card number two is like the obstacle that's probably going to get in your way in 2020. Mine was eight of cups. So change as an obstacle. And that came true for sure, because eight of cups is about change. <laughs> and eight is movement. And that's what I talked about in my video. And I will leave a link to my video. Nope, I'm going to do it down in the description. So if you want to, you can just click on over and check out what my actual spread was in which cards I used. I'm not going to tell you here though. But so two are the eight of cups. Eights are all about movements for me. Cups, cups are emotional. So I feel like that change, um, I'm, I get emotionally involved when change happens. I have a really hard time with it and stuff like that. But over 2020, there was a lot of change going on in the world, in my family, in my home life, in my spirituality, in how I looked at things. And so um, I'm, I think I was able to take on that obstacle really well, actually. Um, three is what will help me overcome the obstacle, which is the two of swords. Um, the two of swords is again, mental and it's about balance and those kinds of things. So it's, it's more that realization that I can overcome the obstacle. So I can overcome change that I can work through it, that, um, it, you know, mind over matter. I can do that. Right. Uh, fourth card, uh, was opportunities. So I got the Queen of Pentacles, another queen, which really, really goes into my energy, right? So pentacles are about um, money, finances, physical form, stuff like that. And I really do think that I got, despite how COVID happened, despite all of my events being canceled and everything, I actually had a lot of opportunities that I took on, which happened to be more online than in-person events. So I took those on and by the end of 2020, I was able to do something with my business that I didn't even know I was capable of. So that was pretty, pretty amazing. And I do think that queen energy, that creative queen energy really lends well to my, my, uh, my business, my clay art. Um, five is the overall theme of 2020, which was three of pentacles. Now, Three of Pentacles is about groups and working together and those kinds of things. Now, it didn't quite, it wasn't quite what I thought it was. Like, in the video that I originally did, I thought that maybe I would meet new people, new friends, you know, that kind of thing. But what it turned out to be is more of <clears throat> focusing on my actual group for my clay business. Because the more I focused on it, the better everything got. So that was really interesting, actually. And I need those people. My customers are my people. My customers are that cooperative group for me. My customer base is the most amazing thing in the world to me. And yes, I did meet a few new friends. And yes, I got close to a few people and stuff like that. But really, I think the focus ended up being more on my business than I ever thought it was going to be. And that group focus for the Three of Pentacles just really like hit home in my group, because I do a lot of sales in my group, I do VIP special sales in my group. And it just like, it just like blew up towards the end of 2020 and did things that I didn't even know it could do that I didn't even know I could do. So yay, right? So overall, yes, I think that my five card 2020 vision 
was correct, that it came true. All of those things happened in one way or another, maybe not the way that I was expecting them to, but they totally happened. <laughs> So I think my energy for um, doing the 2020 vision for pulling those cards was on point. So yay. So if you guys did the 2020 vision, how did yours play out? I would love to know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a very great day.